Ah, sí. Ay, papá. Qué dio, papá. Oh. Hello, papá. Ay, papacito. Hello. Hello, papá. So, I'm just getting home. And, uh, want to do a, a quick little video here for y'all. And, um, I had posted yesterday a video of the f five reasons why not to get a Cani Corso. So I wanted to follow that up today uh, with a video of uh, five reasons why you, you should get a Cani Corso. So what are the pros of, of, of this breed of, of dog? So this is my, uh, this is my Cani Corso here, Ozzy, my first Cani Corso. He's a, uh, Approaching four years of age, he's a 150 pound uh, gray brindle mastiff. Uh, very nice temperament and um, just a really, really fantastic dog. So anyways, uh, number one reason why you should get a Cani Corso is because this breed of dog is the ultimate guardian protective breed and that's the number one reason why I chose this breed of dog is uh, because I, I live uh, by myself in uh, in the country in a country setting so I, I really need that protection and uh, this this dog is uh, does not mess around it's a very a serious uh, protector very powerful breed that will fight to the death uh, to protect its owner um, so uh, the dog is fearless and uh, and uh, you know if you've read about the history uh, it's it's a well-known fact that this is a uh, very old breed that has descended from the ancient Roman uh, war dogs this dog has fought in uh, historically uh, in um, in battles you know and defended not only that, but uh, also defended the, the owner's uh, livestock and territory and home and family and all that. So, uh, so uh, protection is, is bred into this dog. It's in their genetic makeup. So it's one thing that you don't even have to train the dog to do. It's it's born and it's it's already uh, in protection mode. <laughs> this breed of dog um, sleeps with one eye open. So they're they're on guard twenty four seven. There's not much you can slip by a kind of course. So you, you just can't slip under the radar when when this dog is is around. So that is the number one reason why to get this breed. You you really be hard pressed to find a better uh, guardian protective breed than this. And so, uh -huh. yeah, well, well, number two, number two is um, that while it, uh, this is a serious uh, guardian protective breed, this dog is uh, also very loving, very affectionate. So, you know, if you compare uh, other guardian breeds that are pretty serious guardians you know they may or may not be loving to their family they may be more kind of standoffish well this dog is very uh loving so much so that they call it uh you know colloquial nickname is a velcro dog velcro dog because it loves to be near the owner case in point right here as soon as i come home you know it uh ozzy has got to be right by my side and they and the dog uh, is because partially you know because it's protect protective. It wants to have eyes on its owner at all times. Wants to know what's going on with its family. Where's its family? So it's not a dog you know that you can put out in your in your yard, chain up, and and leave there to protect the home. It would rather be with the family indoors. So I have a doggy door, so I let my dogs have access to indoors and outdoors but they prefer to be indoors with their family 
Uh, so, so that's number two. It's it's a very loving, affectionate breed. So uh, number three is um, the versatility. Uh, the versatility of the breed. So uh, you could say versatility slash workability. Um, this Cane Corso is uh, a dog that is uh, kind of like a, an all-purpose dog. Uh, if you're if you're talking about um, specific uh, workability traits of of, of breeds, uh, for example. Great Pyrenees, that's a guardian livestock breed, um, bred uh, to, to, to guard livestock, or shepherds, you know, or herding dogs, or um, sight dogs, sight hounds, or hound dogs, you know, they, they are bred for a certain function. Well, the Cane Corso is kind of a multi-purpose working dog breed. Uh, you can put this dog uh in like a herding type uh situation where you want to herd it'll do that you can put this this breed of dog uh as a guardian uh for your livestock it can do that i mean very very uh good this dog is very very good at uh scent work scent tracking i mean you know probably not as good as a, as a hound dog but but up there you know pretty close um there are some people that use this dog uh, for search and rescue very effectively and for nar narcotics um, detection work, um, ballistics detection work, you name it. Uh, this breed of dog can do that and, and do it uh, very well. So, so number three is versatility. Yep, yeah, Papa. Uh, number four. Number four would be, uh, is that the, the Cane Corso is extremely uh, athletic um, and especially in, in the category of, uh, of a Mastiff. So as compared to other Mastiff breeds, say like the Great Dane or, or the T Tibetan Mastiff or the, you know, um, South African Mastiff Borbel. Uh, the dog is extremely athletic, and so so you're not going to have um, you know like some breeds of dogs. They're they're more of a, the true lap dogs, where they're like the Neapolitan Mastiff. You know where they you know they're 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 nice uh, big guardian type dogs, but they're not a dog that you can necessarily go take out on, on a run and have it keep up with you comfortably. Uh, this dog is different because you can take this dog on a long run. You can take it um, hiking. You can take it trail, trail running or hiking and it'll keep up, you know. And uh, so, so the versatility is number four. Or, or sorry, the... Uh, Versatility is number three, and then the, the workability and the athleticism of, the, of this uh, Mastiff breed is uh, number four. Number five, um, number five, fifth reason why this is such a good uh, breed to have is that uh, it's relatively low maintenance as far as uh, grooming and uh, keeping clean. So you can see this is my other uh, Cane Corso female, uh, both Ozzy and Dolce here. They have a very characteristic, a short coat. And so they shed very little as compared to other dogs. You know, they, they do shed, but not very much at all. Um, and... Uh, you don't really need to bathe them very often. They their their coat uh, repels a lot of the dirt. You know they they stay relatively clean. I don't ever really have a, or detect a, a bad scent coming from them, and it's not recommended to to bathe them 
frequently because it'll, you'll lose that protective oil uh, from the coat if you bathe too often. So, look at that, he's itching his back. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, number five is uh, they're relatively uh, clean dogs. So there you have it. Say what, what? Say baby girl. Come on, eyes. Five reasons why this is a really good breed to have. And, <clears throat> and you know, when I was looking for, you know, before I got uh, my first kind of Corso, when I was looking for a dog, I was looking for some uh, specific things. You know, a lot of people will say, well, you know, it's, it's better to get a, a, a dog from a pound rather than a, a purebred dog. And I, and I agree with that. You know, um, my first dog here that I still have here is uh, Tux. He's a rescue dog, a pit bull lab mix. And I got Tux from, from the pound. Um, but, so real quick story on that. I, I was looking for a pit bull and I wanted to, to rescue. And I, I was looking for a pit bull because um, I wanted a dog that could be sort of a protection dog for me. And um, I had an apartment before I, I got my first house uh, that got broken into. And I knew I was going to move to a house. I said, I, I, I you know, would like to have a dog to protect uh, and, and look out, kind of be a guardian dog. So I got Tux and, you know, even though he's got Pitbull in him, it turned out he wasn't the best uh, guard dog. I mean, he, he, you know, guard, but he's also friendly to strangers sometimes. So I did research and looking for the best guardian dog that's also not very high energy. So from what I found is, you know, there are great guardian dogs, but say, for example, the um, German Shepherd dog is a little too high energy for me, for my liking. So great guardian dog, but too high energy. So from all of the research and different breeds that I that I looked at, um, the kind of Corso kept coming up as... Um, well, you know, one of the best for uh, for being a moderate, moderate uh, energy, not high strung, you know, um, and, and excellent guard dog. So that's kind of the beginnings of my interest in the breed. I forgot to mention one of the pro the pros and the, the pluses of getting this this breed is their intelligence. They're extremely intelligent. And although they, they can be stubborn, they are relatively um, easy to train once you get back past that stubbornness because they, they get it. They're very intelligent, so they, they want to please. So I'm throwing in a few extra uh, pros here. So because they, they, they have this nice mix of being independent but also wanting, wanting to please, so those uh, those two factors play into um, play into uh, being in your favor for for training the dog. So I think that's extremely important because I was looking at uh, d the differences between Presa Canario, the uh, Canary Island uh, Mastiff, and the Cane Corso. They look very very similar have a lot of similarities to them and but from what I from what I read and talked to people about you know Presa Canario is a little bit more harder to to train in general you know there's always outliers but that's what I have read but I, I mean I could be wrong about that but I, that's that's what I discovered when I did research about it so another reason why I got a kind of corso over a Presa Canario but uh but anyways uh yeah just want to do that quick little video for y'all and let me know if uh 
if you have any uh, other things you wanted to know about or questions and and uh hope you all having a good day and we'll talk to you later don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh thanks to everyone who has subscribed uh so oh yeah we'll, we'll see you on the next one bye Ozzy. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. good boy good boy, good boy.